Okay guys, here we go again. Um, continue. Episode 2, Turnabout Sisters, Day 1, Investigation. Let's get started with this episode. And if you guys do enjoy the episode, tap that button down below. Okay, so I've already pushed them all I need to. I need to move to the detention center and tell them uh, what's going on. September 6th, 3.42 p.m. Then detention center, visitor's room, okay. Uh, hiya. Oh, you're back. Did you find a lawyer? Um, well, what do I tell her? Well, see, just be honest. I, I really don't think you should use that guy. He didn't seem healthy. He was all skin and bones. I don't know. What really happened? I don't mean you refuse to help. Uh, and I did think about it. Remember, we they were talking about that Edgeworth dude. Maybe he was um, blackmailing him because he was known for tampering and stuff. I see. I've been abandoned then. Just a little longer now before the state appointed lawyer comes. I guess. Uh, I don't want that to happen. 4 p.m. Time's up. What should I do? Do I just leave her and go home? Oh, fuck. No, defend her! I made it online. I'm going to defend you whether you want me to or not. Oh, yeah, I got so shocked. Why? Why? Well. No, no one's on us. Go, Brit. I can't abandon you. Check that No one is as sad as a person but friends. I know, I've been there a long time ago. What? Why did I become a lawyer in the first place? If someone has to look out for me, we will have no one but my other son. Sucks. Why? I won't abandon you. It's a challenge. That's so kind of you. I got you, Maya. Well, let's fight this one and get you out of here. Right, thank you. She smiled at least. She looks like an entirely different person. Last question. You are innocent, right? Yes! <laughs> I can do it, boys. And I trust you. So you trust me. Do you okay? It's a deal. So, what next? There's something I expect back there. Just what was inside that strange old shore. It was when I tried to look into the door that she got all defensive. There has to be something in there. I can't. Gateway. Good afternoon, sir. Excuse me, you are. Ah, I mean, I beg your pardon, sir. I'm the the bellboy of this establishment. At your service, sir. Oh, right. I've just come up to the room service, sir. Um, do you know where Miss May might be? Ah, I believe our guest, Miss May, is currently using the uh, facilities. If you no need of anything, I'll be taking my leave. Please stay as long as you like. Enjoy. Yeah. Wait, no. Hey! Oh. Why does it seem like every time I get in here, I end up in medicine? Wait, that's a chance to sit around it. Ah, oh, I almost forgot. Ah! We came back. Might I ask you to inform Miss May that there is a message for her? Please tell her that Mr. White of Blue Corp phone. Oh, right. Sure. Mr. White of Blue Corp. Where have I heard that name? I haven't. Wait, that was his name. My sister told me. Oh! White was the name of the guy who ruined Maya and Mia's mother. Oh, could it be a coincidence? I finally get to see what this is. The school is to a half open drawer. That's what chance to do with inside. What do we have here? What is it? A wire tap. What would a woman like her be doing with something like this? A wire tap adds to the court record. There's definitely something suspicious about this place. Why would she have something like this in her hotel room? There's a story behind all this. I know it. She couldn't have committed the murder. She might have known it. There's no way she did it. Unless she committed the murder, got out of the office unseen, got back to her hotel room. Alright, I'll be using this bit of evidence tomorrow. It's trial for sure. For my sake, I'll get to this woman's bottom. Wait, I mean, you know what I mean. Yeah, sure. Oh, she's back. Oh, bad 
Boy, so there. Uh oh, I'm scram. I look forward to tangling with you tomorrow, Miss May. Important. To be continued. Sure, my controller is on this entire time. I guess it wasn't. Okay, good. Uh, party invite only. Okay, save my progress. Of course. Okay, guys, we're getting some progress here. We're five minutes in. All right, same one. Do all my things. Okay, here we go. We're in trial now. I just thought I'd say that. September 7th, 10 a.m. District Court, courtroom number one. Oh. A new guy. Hey, can I have the same dude from last time? He was kind of stupid. Court is now in session for the trial of Ms. Faye. Ms. Maya Faye. Sorry. Prosecution's ready on that. Oh, that's Edgeworth. Defense is ready on that. No, it's Edgeworth. Better not show any signs of weakness today. Or he'll be on me in a minute. Mr. Edgeworth. Mr. Edgeworth, please get the court to open its statement. Thank you, Your Honor. The defendant, Ms. Maya Faye, was at the scene of the crime. Prosecution's evidence she committed the murder. And we have a witness who saw her do it. Prosecution sees no reason to doubt the facts of this case, Your Honor. I see. Thank you, Mr. Edgeworth. Let's begin then. If we may call our first witness, Your Honor, the prosecution calls the chief the officer of the scene, Detective Gubbs. This bastard. Come on, bro. Witness, please say your name and fashion to the court. Sir. My name is Dick Gumshoe, sir. I'm the detective in charge of homicides down at the proceeding. Precinct, sir. Detective Gumshoe, please describe for us the details of this murder. Very well, sir. I'm going to use the floor map of the office to explain. Okay. The body was found by this window here. And the cause of death? Loss of blood due to being struck by a blunt object, sir. The murder weapon was a statue of the thick defendants to the body, sir. It was heavy enough to be a deadly weapon, even in a girl's hand, sir. The court accepts the statue in evidence. We're still calling it a statue. Floor plans added to the court record. Floor plans. The murder scene. The Fang Co. Law Office. Cool. Now, detective. Y yes, sir? You immediately arrested uh, Miss Maya Fay, who was found at the scene, correct? Can you tell me why? Yes, sir. I had that hard evidence she did, sir. Hmm, Detective Gumshoe? Please testify to the court about this hard evidence. Oh, here we go. Be ready, guys. You gotta help me in with this. Maya Fay's arrest. Let's go. As soon as the phone call came in, I rushed to the scene. There are two people there already. The defendant, Miss Maya Fay, and my lawyer, Mr. Phoenix Wright. I immediately arrested Miss Maya Fay. Why? We had a witness that now described her. When I saw Miss Maya Fay at the very moment of murder. <coughs> hmm, the very moment, you say. Very well, Mr. Wright. You may begin your cross examination. Yes, y yes, Your Honor. There's nothing to cross examine. Yeah, cross examine what? I can see a single contradiction in that testimony. I didn't see anything either. Oosh. Hey, Maya, just do something at me. Hey, Maya, just do something at me. What's this? Well, my sister couldn't find any contradictions. So I want to bluff it and impress the witness. I don't know how to read it. The witness always feels it's up. I worked a lot of times. I should have been saying that I ended up. But now some of her sister's tricks. Alright, let's get this to trolley. Does something matter? No, Your Honor. I like to forgive my cross examination. Hold it! Why did you? Who did you say you got the call from? Hey, pal, don't play dumb. You know who the call is from? That's not the big lawyer. That's how right? Across the street. Perhaps it. Okay, I'm going to rest for lunch. I'm going to get lunch later. Right, please continue. So we are ready. Stand in this cafe. Hold it! Are you absolutely sure it was us? Sound like like some suspicious people at a crime. Well, he did. He doesn't look like it. It's pretty unsuitable. I should 
pick my point special ability, I don't care. Wait a minute, guys. I'm gonna get that reel ready, and I'll get it in for you. Hold it! Why is that? Why do you arrest me? What's your reason? Oh, yeah, wait, this is just my favorite. The one that sucks my favorite. Suspicious. Hold it! That's the only thing I have pressed. How long would you say to John? You received the call and you were able to press it. I'd say it was about 30 minutes. I'm not as much as quick response. That's how I got there before the car got away. Indeed. So tell us who are the two people you found on Sequel? Yes, sir. My name is my Faye. I'm one of these. Hold on just one second. Oh, I, I think I did it because we caught up. Uh, yeah, yeah. If I heard correctly, you said you arrested her because you had hard evidence to get, correct? Huh? Did did I say that? Me? Yeah, you did. I heard you say it. You did say it. You said it. Oh. Exactly. What about the suspicious woman in Pink's claim was hard evidence? What? what? This, this May isn't suspicious. She just sure isn't Pink, pal. Well, I guess she is pink. That's enough. Detective Gumshoe, do you have any more solid proof other than our claims, Detective? Um, hmm, I guess Preston can have his advantages. Yeah, can. Yes. <sighs> Sorry, I got the order of things messed up in my testimony again, sir. There was something I should have told you about first, Your Honor. Very well, Detective, let's hear your testimony again. He's gonna bring up the paper with her name on it. After securing the suspect, I examined the scene of the crime with my own eyes. I found a memo written on a piece of paper and I said that his body on it, the word my was written clearly in blood. I have to results show that the blood was the victims. I saw there's blood found on the victims before she died. The victim wrote the killer's name. It's not, no, she didn't. Oh my god. How do you like that? That's my heart I think. No contradiction, so I'm gonna just press them. Hmm. Before we begin cross examination, I have a question for you, Detective. You, your Honor, why didn't you testify about this vital piece of evidence the first time? Ooh. Uh, eh, I know. I'm real mayor, so I forgot about it, Your Honor, sir. Try to be more careful. Very well. The defense may begin its cross examination. I don't have anything to press on, or I can press evidence. I don't have anything to. There's no contradictions. It's paper, it's a paper, dry, it's okay. She was 
nice shot. Uh oh. So it wasn't too hard to see what I was getting out there. Or should I, the victim of the first name? Where's the contradiction? Because you found it, it's the body that's made the victim wrote it. Somewhere. I'm getting somewhere. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. The witness was in our hotel room, not the office. She could have came by. Tap on the other leg. So, yeah. Well, you're at it. I want to. What did you tell us? I was written on the other side. That's definitely it. That's definitely it. There is. There's something in the press. 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 Without evidence sitting up in the mouse was the right. Yeah, pal. What the heck's the other one? What? Wait. Present. I mean, that's blood. There's no. I just lost two things in the corner. Okay, okay, never mind. Whoops, I didn't go so well. Okay, um. Is there. I don't see any contradictions. I will not the victim. That? Your Honor, that, uh, God dang it. I don't know. Okay, I think I got it, I think I got it, I think I got it. Um, okay. Yeah, yeah, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. 
the victim, Maya Faye, or Mia Faye, wrote this note that she was accusing the defendant, Maya Faye. That's really what you're saying. W what? This isn't one of those lawyer tricks, now, is it? Of course she wrote it. Who else could have? You have it backwards, detective. B backwards The victim is the only person who absolutely could not have written this. This is a report from your department, detective. Immediate death due to a blow from blood object. She died immediately, but no budding your way out of this one. Order! Order! The fence has a point. Someone who died immediately wouldn't have had the time to write Objection! That's right. I beg your pardon, but when exactly did you attend that autopsy report? But when? Uh, I don't know if it's the day of the murder or the day after the murder. Um. Day after. No way! Your Honor, it's quite easy to imagine the victim did have the time to write Maya. That is all. I see. Damn you, Edgeworth. I should have known you'd have something up your sleeve. Why, Mr. Wright, you look shocked. Something you want to say? You're a sham, Edgeworth. Mr. Edgeworth, I've heard this now too. You won't do to get out of your verdict. What reason could you possibly have to have a request? You possibly have had to request a second autopsy. That's right. The defense will refrain from personal attacks and prosecution. No matter, Your Honor. That's right. Say what you will. The evidence and support is undeniable. Your Honor, I submit this report to the court. Understood the court accepts this new evidence. My eyes autopsy report died from a, blunt, a blow by a blunt object may have lived for a few minutes. Well, Your Honor, the evidence strong suggests the victim's identity was just by the Was that the so obvious conclusion? Yes. Fuck yes. Darn. This isn't good. Oh, this isn't good at all. The prosecution would like to call its next witness. This poor innocent girl saw the murder of the If this is Miss April. Yes, okay, exactly what part of her is innocent. It's okay. Oh, I can't even present this. If I present this, I'm going to get in trouble, and I? I can't really search her apart. Witness your name, please. April May, at your service. Order. An introduction should not require any reaction from the crowd. A witness will refrain from pointing and weekend. Yes, Your Honor. This is not good. The story captures the heart of every man in this courtroom. Tell us, where were you on the night of September 5th with America? Um, gee, I was like, in my hotel room? Gee, <laughs> checked in right after lunch. 
Misato directly across on Faye office. That's right, big boy. Please testify to the court about what you saw. Oh, witness testimony. Okay, here we go. Witnesses account. It was like nine at night. Where's the report? Didn't say when she died. Wait, can I check these? Nine at night. This was at 927. Sorry, contradiction. And then, ooh, I saw a woman with long hair being attacked. The one attacking it was around two girls saying in the chat. Then the woman, like, dodged to one side and ran away. That girl, she caught up to her and she hit her. Then the woman with long hair, she kind of stopped. How you see it, though? Bitsy witsy wee. Oh my god, she's done. I got a contradiction. I see. It is her Microsoft testimony. So you need to tell the witness. Wait, Your Honor. Yes, Mr. Wright. What about my cross examination? I thought the witness testimony just now was quite firm, didn't you? Mr. Wright. I understand you are Miss Maya, uh, Mia Faye's understudy, are you not? You must know her techniques well. A carefully way of finding tiny faults and perfectly good testimonies. Hey, how dare you? Well, Mr. Wright, will you cross examine the witness? Uh, yeah. I have something I can. I know there's already a thing. A uh, contradiction. If only because I have a feeling Edgewood doesn't want me to. She has to have some weakness. It's nine o'clock. Huh. That's so cool. There it is, okay. Uh, present. Wind it up. And objection! <laughs> It is contradicting. What do you mean? Fine, 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 okay. I only have two more left. Come on. Yeah, why are we looking out the window at nine? Why, like, why not? Why did you look out the window? Were you expecting to see something? Oh, well, um, what, that's it? She can't get out of this car. I sort of feel, you know, I had a feeling, well, I have a feeling she's trying to avoid the question. Maybe I should press a little harder. Yeah, press harder on this. See how far I can move. But surely you must have had reason to cut your window at that time of night. I, ooh. Objection! Mr. Wright, I will not have you badgering my witness. Shut up. But badgering? You insist on needling her with these trivial questions. I really don't think it should be allowed. Yeah, yeah, it's not. Lord. Mr. Wright, you I've been warned. Poor girl. What about poor me? I looked out the window, what did you see next? I knew I saw one with long hair being attacked. Hold it! There's no one with long hair. That was me say. Uh -huh. Slender, sort of, well, some people might say pretty if that's your thing. Your thing. And the person attacking her? Hold it. How do you know she was the defendant? Uh, well, you know, she, she had a girl or she was uh, a woman. No, these things. Look, I, I just know, okay? There was only one person at the scene of the crime with a short girl figure. So that's when it's both of you It's right. I, there's nothing for me to question. I won't give me an option. There was something to question. Hold on a minute. That testimony stinks. Wait, what? It's May. I'm willing to bet that. You're lying. Are you telling the truth? Did you really see the defendant? Uh, oh, there it is. I got something on her. Mr. Wright, what's the meaning of this? Yes, what is the meaning? Somebody tell me because I'm clueless about this, I mean. Oh, you're not clueless. You're the murderer. I have proof. Not really, but I will get proof. Okay, if you had really witnessed my client by FA, would you have noticed her clothes before noticing her physique? Oh, we got her! No one wears clothes like this on a daily basis, except her. And I'm, on, I'm no expert on fashion, but her uh, hairdo looks far from what it would be. However, the witness testimony mentions neither of these things. This testimony is bogus. 
But, but, still, we don't know if she was just the way, that way, neither She was younger. I saw her, so did to her, don't she? What did you say to that? What do you say to that? It's my, Miss May, or what are you trying to say? You mean lawyer? I, I saw what I saw. I just didn't think all the trouble I need, though, these are necessary, though. Miss May, the court would like to remind you to please omit nothing in your testimony. Sorry, Your Honor. Be a good girl. I promise. You want this testimony again if you would. Damn, I almost had her. So, is she gonna change it now and describe the clothing? I didn't see everything I did. The victim, the woman, dodged the first attack and ran off to the right. Then the girl in the hippie clothes ran after her. She hit her with that weapon I saw. I did. That, that clock, um, that kind of statue clock thinker thing. What does that act really? Does the accuracy of my report not store you to heat? God. I see. I only wish you had it been so detailed from the beginning. Please begin the cross examination. What is there to cross examine? I didn't see any contradictions, nothing. I think I did. Yes. So you saw me then too. Of course. I don't remember that spiky anyone. Spiky? Witness or refrain from personal attacks on the fence tree. Aww, uh, was I a bad girl? I'm sorry. Very well, continue. The woman dodged for a second round to override. Wait a minute, 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 wait a out of the window view. Is that right? Is there an the yellow right exit? Uh, is that right? Um, which hat? Do I hold my hand again? Right. It was my right hand, right? Is that right, Mr. Right? Please continue. Then the girl in the hip closed right after. I'm giving it for you to remember her hippie clothes. That's what you, I mean, that's what she was wearing. Oh, and her hair was all done up on her body. What happened then? with the weapon I saw. Where did this weapon come from? She picked it up from the desk. I see. What sort of weapon was it? There's no contradiction in that. It's right. A clock? Didn't this come up in another just recently? Well, don't look so sour, Mr. Lawyer. You can't win them all. No, but I have a feeling I want something now. That, that clock, though. That kind of starts to be clock, I think, or I think. Did I just... I think I just held it. Clock, yeah, I did. Okay. On to something. I pressed everything. Set. So you saw me then too, yeah, dude. What is there to press? To the right, I pressed right. The girl that hit the club, I pressed it. She hit her with the weapon, I pressed right too. I pressed everything. I'm gonna press, and I'm gonna present this, cause look at her view. She wanted to see out of the mirror, out of the window view. She stepped out of the window at one point, didn't she? She's not in the window. So we're gonna hold this back, suit it up, and objection! Please. Uh, 
videos around an hour. It's gonna be a longer episode of stuff. Hopefully it's still gonna be I know what I have to press. Present 9 p.m. Objection! Objection. Died instantly. Da, da, da. Cool.
much back to where we were. What the heck? Yeah, I don't know her name. See if I remember what to press on it. Oh god. Oh, the window, and then oh, I saw one of being attacked. Not that kind of thing. I'm just gonna share. The golden one, like, gone. Oh, yeah, the Garcia. Yeah. I don't remember what I'm supposed to press on this. Yes, I'm gonna cross the I don't remember what I'm supposed to press on it. What's a hit? I don't remember anything bad. It was like 9 of my. Oh, jump the window. Oh, yeah, press. Press that, press that. Why were you looking at the window? Go for it. Keep pressing on Area of Jackson around here. There we go. I got it. Okay. You're lying. There we go. Okay. Wait a minute! Wait, 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 wait. How'd she know she's a clock? Want that? Pull it forward, pull it back, and objection! Miss May. We got it. What you said just now was quite revealing. Revealing? You said that the statue of the thing was a clock. There's no way of knowing that just one can. How you do this is a clock. When they saw the murder through her eyes, I thought it was important here. The defense is trying to confuse the issues with your real concerns. Yes, yes, of course. You will withdraw your objection! Ooh, let's go. We get an objection. But questions are all I have you on And as you may recall, I've caught I've caught murders with these questions before. Stop me there, then I will be over. Huh, what? So, what happens now? What happens now is you answer my question, how do you know it was a clock? What the? That's... Because I heard it. Yes, I heard it. I heard it say the time. So you've been to the law offices? No! Hey, I didn't say that. Why would I go there? I heard a flat over me. The law offices uh, took place very close to the hotel. 
she could easily have hurt the clock. Well, I'm afraid you're satisfied. No, no, no. No, Your Honor. I can't go now. I'm not satisfied because... We couldn't have run. No, I remember seeing the word. It is inconceivable that the clock is in the sunshine. She took the batteries out. Wait a minute. Court record. Um, chat. It's broken. I think it's broken. Let's just look at it. It's on the clock. See anything interesting on it? Well, I'm not sure I would call it broken, but now it's broken. This clock's missing its clockwork. It's quite empty. I remembered it. Mr. Wright, would you care to explain to the court the meaning of this? It is, as you can see, the clock was empty. It couldn't have rung. Therefore, this witness is a big fat liar. So fat. Well, Miss May. Tisk tisk. Oh, I think I got Edgeworth. Uh, quite a show you put on for us, Miss Wright. He knew the clock was empty somehow. He knew. I'm afraid you've forgotten one thing, about them. Indeed, the clock is empty, as you say. It can't ring. However, we must ask when was the clock removed. Who was after the witness heard the clock? Didn't they? After she heard it. Fuck this. It was. And then it was done. That's what happened, Donna. Thomas Wright, can you prove that the clock was removed? Uh, impossible. I have proof. What? Wasn't it you who told me proof is everything? Well, I will. Now I'll show you the proof you like so much. And so, proof. There's nothing else I'd prove besides that. Yeah, it's through the phone. Take that! Take a look at this. It's a very cute cell phone. Ooh, you have a great phone. Oh, wait, wait. This is my phone. Listen, this is the defendant's cell phone. I can to record it. Recording a conversation chat with Victor. Cell phone. The, this wasn't brought to my attention. Perhaps Detective Gumps, you overlooked it. The good detective better remember he's up for evaluation soon. I gotta say, I'm starting to feel bad for this big phone. Let's see the conversation. Maya. So you just want me to hold on to the thinker for you then? If you could. Ah, uh, I should probably tell you the clock isn't talking right now. Huh? It's not working? That's lame. I had to take the clock work out, sorry. September 1st, 1927. Your Honor, I think this makes it clear. Well. Cock was already gone by the time it was recorded. Which was well before the witness even arrived at the witness. Well, Miss May, would you care to explain this? Works. How did you know that weapon was a clock? Well, well, well is it obvious? I saw the clock before. Um, what store was that again? I go to so many. Oops, I forgot. Wink. So the witness had seen it before. That would make sense. Does the defense have any objections? Yeah, objection! The witness could have seen it before, but this directly contradicts the piece of evidence already seen in this court. Well, let's see it. Please provide this evidence. Take that! Take that! It's simple. This clock is not an enemy sort of What? A friend of mine hit that clock. Only two exist in the world. And the one that isn't here is in police custody. So everything is so distorted. It's me, I think it's high time you went shopping for a better excuse. <sighs> oh, excuse not sound today? Ooh. Ooh -hoo -hoo. <laughs> <sighs> What's going on? Oh, she's getting mad now. What's to you, pork pine head? That stupid clock is mad. Okay, she did it. And she should die for it. Die! Oh, we got her right in the defense everywhere! Whoa, whoa, let's not get her out. This is a revolver. The witness is a Oh. Oh, 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 oh. So silly, me. Did I, um, like, lose it? 
because I did. It's scary. Just made me ask. Tell me, how did you know the weapon was clock? Does the defense have any opinion on this paper? This is it. Yes, Your Honor. I'm going to explain how to see it. Miss April May, you knew the weapon was clock because you held it. This is not the same I'll just use the same weapon. I held the very clock in the moment. She used to strike the guns on her face. Or, or, that's right. What is the meaning of this? April May, you killed my FA, I saw. I say, oh. And when you struck the force of the impact, you made a finger wing. That's when you hurt. Tisk, tisk. You truly are a work of art, famous fans, right? What's that supposed to mean? It was you who just proved that the thinker was empty. Um, uh, er, of course it wouldn't be. What's more, the witness is a smock sold alibi, Miss May. Perhaps you could explain to the poor misguide, Miss Wright, that you were in the hotel at the time of the murder? She, she can't prove that she did it. It would be my pleasure. No, no way! This way, Mr. Lawyer. Didn't the murder take place at night? At night? See, that's the exact time I always put them to the hotel. There's no way the bellboy corroborates the witness story. Ergo, she was not the kind of scene looks on. Did the crime scene Mr. White, you just made a serious accusation against the appropriation. So sorry, Your Honor, if that didn't go Nope. If that's the case, then how did she know that was wrong? Wait, Your Honor, I figured it out. There's a, one other way Miss May, Miss April May could have done this wrong. One way alone, I know I proof. Well, proof, you say? Then the court was on the proof. Oh, there's not the proof. That's all I have. Take the thing. Look at this. Ah, look. Uh, 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 uh. Now it's in Miss May's room. Right, please don't forget what she says. So, Mae, you were tapping the victim's Mae's phone. It's my affair, or me affair's phone. Were you not? Uh, uh -huh. Yeah, this is your honor. This is a welcome. I'm not entirely sure that it is. I can't show the world. It, it shows me that our witness was in possession of a wire attack. This is outrageous. Does the defense truly claim that it's just tapping the phone? Absolutely. Even if that was the case, which is not. I still have to do one thing. Did the victim ever say that the weapon was a pawn of his own? Do that. I think not. Oh yeah? I think I can. It's what? Here's my proof. The proof that the victim said it on the phone. Because on the phone, the fella. Because on the phone. Come Yes, we've seen that. Listen once more to the gossip to the defendant. But... Mia, what's up? You haven't called in a while. Well, actually, there's something I want you to hold on to me again. What is it a sign? It's a clock. Let me look at the statue. It's April May. You used the wiretap to listen to this conversation. That's how you knew the thing was a clock. Am I wrong? I. I. Objection! Your Honor, this is ridiculous. Your Honor, look at the witness's face. Does she, she seem amused to you? The defense demands an answer. Oh, uh, uh. oh witness, answer the question. You need to tap her phone. Hey, shut up, all of you. You, lawyer. Oh, uh, it's not fair. All of you be ganging up on me like that. Oh, so I'm the bad girl. Is it that? Is that it? Is that it? Uh, uh, <laughs> really? This fucking bitch is gonna cry. That did it. The court scenes. The court's seen the real Miss April made out. Now to deal with the final blow. You did it, didn't you? Confess you did. Are you out of your mind? Oh, wait, I forgot you know the way it must be. At the time of the murder, I was in my room, you know, and I was gonna kill her. Call the bus, the bellboy. Objection! 
how are you gonna object to that? You can't object, yeah. I hold that the Lord time had nothing to do with the healing. However, if you agree to one condition, I'm not objecting to go with this condition. If the sick will make now by he's not going to question after he's done go boy. You recognize that Miss April May was not the killer. Thereby, you must also accept the verdict of guilty of Miss Mafe. There's no condition. What? I better find something special about what's his mind. I like my OB and bring it to the spot. Which I do. Accept it. Alright, I've got nothing to do. Everything I've said. Accept your condition. Full. Go right to my trap. Uh oh. Very well. The court calls out about what was then. Oh, here we go. Here we go. I believe we're ready for the witness to this fight. He certainly does. He certainly does look like a bellboy. Oh yeah. Yes, sir. I received your summons and we're overwhelmed, sir. Happy to be service. See, you said it looks rather heavy. So, without further ado, we're going to this fight. Very good, sir. The fine Gate Water Hotel and Dennis has four generations. I believe I received a call after eight in the evening from our guest. He asked for an iced coffee to read, brought to her at nine on the doorstep, brought to her at precisely the time of course, and I the iced coffee to our guest. Is that it? I don't see a contradiction. Right. Right. I'm, all, I'm ready. I hope. This is it. If I can't prove Miss May was involved with the murder now, Maya will be finished. Bro, let me save the game, big fella. Can I save the game? Oh no, okay. Cool. I am the head. Bellboy at the final gate water. Oh yeah, I can. There we go. Save. Oh. So if I mess this up, I'm not all. Sure, it's April May herself. Absolutely, sir. Absolutely. Yes, sir. As in, so very absolutely, sir. It's an endearing manner of mine. How come you're so very certain? Well, when I brought her to her, sir, she, she's the guest, sir. Favored me with that. Uh, um, an embarrassed bracer, sir. Brace is that French for embrace. It's French for kiss, sir. But not a French kiss, sir. More of a peck on cheek. Why would she have done that? I believe she was momentarily swayed by my brain.
Tell me about the check in. Tell me about when you check in this main. Ha <laughs> oh, alright, very well, sir. First thought was she was a very a beautiful person. Uh she just my type of girl, so it was disappointment. Oh, really? I see. Um, excuse me. What exactly was a disappointment? Well, I'm not without charm, sir, but even I have little chances to go over there. What did you say? Ooh, what did you say? Uh oh, uh, rather quite. Ooh, the oh boy, tell us something now. Did Miss May check in with the person? I object. That was objectionable. Objectionable. That's why I have a question. Uh, yes, I see. Why did you not mention the state testimony? But, well, sir, you were. You didn't ask. Oh, nice try. You done. That's the sort of thing you normally supposed to mention. Uh, yeah, that's a point. The uh, good reseller, Yes, we have to mention it. That was specifically a uh, sir. Yes. Oof! You, you fool! Oh, edgy boy. Edgy, edgy worth. I don't know why I'm saying that. I'm calling him edgy. Kind of on edge. Edgy boy, edge. It's April, May checked into a twin with a man, correct? Yes, sir. Then when you brought them to the service, you didn't see that man burn. That's right, sir. Your Honor, we have just learned from the person involved who may have been murdered. In light of this new fact, I hope that it's possible to catch up with him. Would you agree, Mr. Sergeant? And he was raised as other person. Simple, it was. Well, it could have been either of them now. Because if. I know I'm saying a lot, guys, I just don't want to mess this up. The man with his name. It was the man who checked in with his name. Oof. Ooh, I got something to honor. That's, that's been previously revealed. April May was tapping with her phone. Yeah, Miss May herself has an alibi at the time. However, that does not clear the man that was The bill was so no one else in the room at the time of murder. What a convenient little setup, but it's too late, too late. I suppose you like it, if it wasn't even with you. After all, it was you who hit the percent, uh, presence of this other man from the court. Oof. Upstart. Amateur. Th these accusations are... ludicrous. Ooh. Enough. The court acknowledges the defense's argument. I expect the prosecution and defense to look into this matter fully. And I'm understood? I'm understood. Yes. <laughs> your on yes, Your Honor. That is all today for the trial of my FA. Court is adjourned. Okay. Uh, day one in court. Or day two in court, I guess, technically. September 7, 2.24 p.m. Just to court. Defend lobby number one. Mr. White, you were amazing. R really? I think I might be your newest fan. Oh, I was just doing my job, you know. And again, the other attorney is watching. Huh? face is With his eyes wide and trembling lips, it sent shivers to my son. If you say so, so what happens? Do I get to go home now? So, well, no, I don't think so. Not yet. No, I see. But I got a great lead to his child. A lead? That man with Miss May is the key. Oh, I get it. What happened to Miss May? I knew the best time I How did they arrest her? I guess she's not even her job. I have the detention center now. I may have to go down there later. Anyway, this case is far from closed. Yes, sir, I'm going to find out more about this man. Do you think he was the one who made yourself sis? Oh. Don't worry, I'll find him by tomorrow. I promise. I'm counting on you. Oh, I gotta help her. As for full record right more. Hey, that's money. I thought I might come in handy down the top tomorrow. But now that I have it, I'm not so sure. Most of her testimony is all lies. In fact, it's only one part that has been rejected. May testimony added to the court record. May testimony the court. Are the victim dodged and attacked and run to the right, but she's not struck? I don't know how much good this would do to me at all. Any time, anyway, time to hit the pavement and do some investigating. Maya doesn't belong in that detention center. It's up to me to set her free. We continue. We're gonna end the episode off here. See you guys. This was actually a really good episode.
I enjoyed it. I'm hoping you guys are enjoying it. Hit that like button down below. Subscribe. Hit that little bell so you never miss an upload. Comment down below if you want to see more of this game. I'll see you guys next time. And peace.